Hey everyone, it's Rick. I'm just a comic book nut standing in front of the comic book family saying that I love you. <laughs> uh, seriously, so this week uh, I have so many things I want to do. A lot of it's my my scientific stuff, but nobody seems to really watch those. I'll, I'll get back to those later. There's a lot more stuff I want to share about the science and studying of paper, but give that a little break. I want to do, I have so many questions and there's some of them are, are similar. And I also get comments from some users. I wanted to do a little comments and questions section and keep a little shorter this week, maybe. I did receive, this will be a fun challenge. I have a uh, Star Wars 42 and 43 were sent to me and they'll be neat. And we're gonna clean those soon and you'll get to watch that. So stay tuned for that a little bit. And then I wanted to read both some comments I've received about my uh, cleaning product and some some questions about books in general that may help others. I will say I it's I'm sorry I can't really sell my anti-foxing and my my whitening agents. I just I got to make a, a lot more money at this before I break even on that. Uh, the rule the rule at the Morgan household is that this has got to be a break even enterprise and cannot cost me additional funds in addition to my uh, regular comic book spending. So. Um, I can't. I really can't do it right now. But maybe in the future, if we, if we get bigger and things happen more. So, uh, anyway, hang on tight, and I, I hope you enjoy the video. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with a comment from one of my other videos from uh, Collecting Chaos. He's been following me for a while now. Um, he he writes, as you know, I purchased your solution for cleaning comics and decided to put it to the test. Which is, you know, at first I'm like, oh man, put it to the test. It sounded a little bit aggressive to me. I was a little nervous, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's important for anyone else that might read this comic to understand that I have been dry cleaning comics for many years. I think the one I attempted to clean, I think he means first, was back in 1974. Jeez, I was three. And I'm not young. I'm not a young man. I botched that badly, I might add, but I also learned a lot from it. And my brother, that's how it goes. So I took a comic that was fairly nice, and it was a comic, I'm assuming this is 1974, of Red Rider 102 from 1952, and I dry cleaned it. I was totally, oh, that must have been, sorry, that must have been more recently. I dry cleaned it. I was totally satisfied with the outcome. and was positive that no more dirt could be removed. The colors were bright, and the whites looked excellent. Well, more power to you, brother. I've never been a fan of dry cleaning. You'll, you'll see me do it once in a while, but I don't like it. If you look in a microscope, you end up pushing dirt into the book, and... It's hard to describe, but just removing dirt from the book, even though you really couldn't see it, makes the whole thing look sort of brighter and fresher. Uh, I then followed your instructions on how to use your cleaning solution as closely as I could. The only thing that changed was that I used distilled water instead of deionized water. Distilled's not as good, clearly, but okay. The, the soap won't work, be as effective, but mostly as effective. Uh, simply because I didn't have any of the latter. Okay, that's fine. After I dried and gave it a press, the difference was amazing. Uh, I'm starting to relax a little now. Not to mention the amount of dirt that came off on the pads. Of course, I wish I had pictures of this. Of course, doing something once and drawing a conclusion is not very scientific. Yeah, I hear you, brother. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. So I took a Patsy Walker number 12 that I recently acquired that was in very, very bad need of a cleaning and repeated it. First, I dry cleaned it until I was satisfied that it was clean, and then I once again followed your instructions to the letter and cleaned the comic with your solution. I will admit that my jaw fairly dropped with the amount of utter filth that the pads on them. Yeah, I get it all the time. I'm like, where's all this dirt coming from? And you know, the videos too don't really describe the difference you can see with your eye, at least my videos don't. Um, they look spectacular sometimes. Um, and the same number on the back, avoid putting the dirt back on the comic. So he, he's, uh, he ended up using a half dozen pads at the front, same number on the back. I evaluated the Patsy Walker as a good minus prior to cleaning. Afterwards, it felt like it can be a VG plus. So a VG plus is like a five and a good minus is probably like a, uh, like a two, or one and a half. Um, so I will continue to test the solution with comics from various ages and dirt levels until I get a definitive conclusion. This this guy is a scientist, and I love it. As the effectiveness of your solution, but I will readily admit it does look promising. I think my next text will be a comic that has dirt. I have not dry cleaned first. Yeah, start that first and then dry clean it later because, you know, dry cleaning may make it harder to wet clean. Thank you so much for making this solution available through your website. I feel free to use this post. So 
yeah, that, that gets you right in the feels, at least for me. It makes me very happy. Yeah, thanks so much for sharing that. Second, I have this email message from Jeremy Costco. He reads, he writes, Hi, Rick, enjoy your YouTube channel. Wondering if you can offer me a little insight in removing tape from a comic book. What method should I try? Someone suggested using a hair dryer to heat it up as well as a pair of tweezers to pull it off. What about using a chemical like Bestine? I have attached a picture of the book, Justice League 4, with a small piece of tape at the bottom cover. Thank you for any advice you can offer. Keep the informative videos coming. So here's a here's a photo of his, his tape. You can see the tape here, the bottom center. You can already see there's a difference in color because it's been on there so long there's aging. I can tell you I have a lot of experience removing tape from comic books. None of it good. Ask yourself the following question first. Why do you want to remove the tape from the book? If you want to get it graded, do not do it. The CGC will not remove points for tape on a book, especially for if it's mending tape. They won't, won't count it at all. If you're going to have this thing graded, and you, then do not, don't touch the tape. It'll only make it worse. Now, if you want, if you still want to remove it, the hair dryer treasures thing can work. You got to be really good and really careful. Uh, you you may burn and melt the tape into the book. You may discolor the book if it gets too warm around that that side that uh, taping area. Um, and you may end up uh, you, you may end up forcing the tape into the book with the pressure from the, the, the blowing. So uh, what I do is I have a small tool I use. I have some other videos that try to do this. It's basically a small blade that is connected to a soldering iron. And it looks like this. And I just had a friend of mine uh, put this on here for me, weld this on the end of a soldering iron. It works just fine. I push push it up and it works. You just get the tape a little hot. Actually, I rub it on the top of the tape to get it warm first. And then I force it up and I lift it with tweezers. It's what I do. However, there's always adhesive left over. And for adhesive, you use like the best thing you suggested. The best thing is, is heptane. It's, it's just a long, a really long molecule. Uh, that is more uh, non-polar than it is polar. And it will, it will probably work a little bit. You gotta be careful because the more non-polar it is, the more chance you are removing some of the ink, but you'll have adhesive left behind. It'll stick to the, and it will happen. You'll stick it in a comic book bag and it will stick to the bag and you're trying to pull it out and it will rip, it'll rip the page. So you gotta be careful with that. You really gotta get all that stuff off of there. Um, I use uh, other, I use blends of solvents and I use solvents with surfactants in them. I put some um, different surfactants in to lower the surface tension because a lot of these are solvents with water as well and they're not purely organic like the heptane. Toluene is one of my favorites. I like toluene. Um, and you can get that adhesive off with that. But it's hard and it always is discolored afterwards because it just is. so. That's my advice on that. I would say use a little hot heating iron or tacking iron with tweezers and then use, I would say the best, closest thing you have to what I use is toluene and then rub it with a Q-tip and try to get that adhesive off of there. But if you don't need to do it, I definitely would not unless it's absolutely necessary. Last I'll show you here, Stephen Nathan, he's, he's been a really good customer of mine for a while now said, hey, you know, the pages are curling up after I press them, especially if, when they're wet, Keenan, I think is what he's saying. And I, he, how do I stop that from happening? What's going on? I said, well, what you do is you run, put some, rub some DI water on the back of the pages. So put some deionizer, or I guess distilled water on the back of the page. You can use the cleaner too, but don't waste the stuff if it's not, um, if it's not dirty on the back. And then repress it. And then here's what, here's the differences. So he had it before, you know, he put the DI water on the back and then he, that's after, there's a before here and an after, some more. So it helps to flatten the book out a lot, even in general cleaning, uh, anything, because the surface of a, the surface of a book sees more atmosphere and moisture than the inside page of a book. So it ends up, the capillary action ends up curving it outwards over time. And it's worse when you're cleaning it. And I, this is a before, I guess it's wiggled there and not wiggled here. You can really see it here. It's like the same picture. And so I would just, you know, little pad, wipe some water, let it air dry, press it, comes out flat every time. There's a there's a tip. It's not worth making a video for me. It'd be like a 25 second video, but that'll solve that problem. Well, that's it, folks. I'm going to get to work on thinking about what I want to do for this Star Wars 42 and clean it. 
and I'll see you guys with another video probably next week if I'm not traveling. I may be, I may be traveling for a few weeks, so it may be a while. But if I don't see you, happy Valentine's Day. I love each and every one of you dearly with all my heart, uh, but not as much as I love my Spider-Man books. Take care. Bye-bye.